you can tell it's not snowing as bad as it was. It's still snowing, just not as thick. And the news guy just said it's not supposed to snow tomorrow, so this is cool. But they changed it to Tuesday and say snow. Grr, I need snow boots. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Okay, I'm watching this movie called Escaping Dad from... What year is this? Let's see. Let's do more information. From the year 2017. Okay? And he's looking on Facebook for a Stacy Henson. Um, why is that creepy? Because that's my personal Facebook account name. And the reason why I'm telling you this is try to add it. Because if I don't know you, you get denied. And mine is private. So, yeah, I'm creeped out. I am so creeped out. Like, I'm, like, shivering right now. Like, how do they come up with that name for this girl? It's not, I know it's not me, but that'd be really creepy if they used a real, like, website for my name. And I was shown in this video, in this movie, even though they weren't looking for me, they were looking for a different person. Like, that's just creepy. So creepy. So creepy. So, cr I'm sorry, but it's, it's creeping me out, man. You don't see how shivered I am and how cold my body feels because of it. I'm trying to push play, damn it. See, 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 see. They made it look not like Facebook. Kind of, well, they calling it something else, like bleeding, bedding. I don't even know what that name is. But it looks exactly like Facebook. They just made it so that we didn't think it was Facebook. Or maybe they made it look like Twitter. I don't know. I think they made it look like Facebook. But without having the rights to Facebook. So they didn't have to pay Facebook. But still, that's creepy. Hello, I've been playing Zoo Tycoons for a while. And I'm about to move to Roller Coaster Tycoons. Which I'll show you those in a little bit as well. But this is an update of what I've been up to. So I'm going to show you some of the Zoo Tycoon parks that I have came up with on my new laptop. Um, I tested it out on my new laptop by me by doing this quick one and I think it looks pretty great. Yep. You basically, if you don't remember from the other videos, is you play until you run out of money. You get five hundred thousand dollars and once you run out of money you're gone. Now if you guys want me to comment down below and let me know if you want me to then I can in the uh, do a kind of a live gaming of this where I play from the start to the end to show you my ideas and what I come up with and what makes me want to do this type of park, whatever you want me to do. Just let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. The only thing I hate is that when you have a lot of food places around you have to have a lot of trash cans everywhere in the park because if you don't they get full and then you have maintenance guys that don't do their job and empty them like these and if you delete the trash cans they just make a mess everywhere and litter so I made a food place but what I think I want to do in the next theme park I ever make, if I can remember to do so, is just gradually put food places in one, like put one in one area, one in another, and so on. But, and see how that goes. So we can only have one trash can. But anyways, I put a fountain in for people to watch and stuff. A petting zoo a restaurant, shopping, um, let's go down this way, this is a medium size, even though they call it large, 
I call it medium sized parts. They put a carousel in there. It was one of the mooses for an animal. And then we got some tigers and a white tiger and a yellow tiger can be in the same thing together because they're considered the same types. And one is swimming. Isn't that cute? So that's a thing. And then this one has a, is it a reptile house with snakes and stuff where you can see it right there. You know, if they can see it right there, basically they don't need to go in and see it because it's cheating or whatever. Then they come over here and I made this little duck pond for people to look at. And then we got some bears and some baby bears. So that's pretty cute. And we keep coming over here and we got some lions. And usually when we have lions, we have way too many lions. I'm shocked that we don't in this one. But that's a usual thing. And then we got some sea lions. See? California sea lions. Here's another water fountain. It's pretty cool. I don't know how many parts this will be. But if you're going to have elephants, you got to make it look like you can ride an elephant. They took them from here so you could ride it. Um, I ran out of money, as you can see right here, so I couldn't continue the roads and fix what I need to fix. But if you want to see the bigger version, here's the bigger version of it. That's as big as it will go, so I can't really take a full picture of it. But we do have, if I go down here, alligators. I gotta always have alligators, because when my nephew comes over, he's like, alligators, alligators, you gotta have alligators. He's like, where's the alligators? You don't have any alligators. Um, and I bet you if we had dinosaurs, he'd want that too. Or dragons, because he loves dragons. But there's a little elephant fountain to show that we have elephants. I just heard someone laugh like a really evil witch laugh. And yes, when you have alligators, you have way too many alligators. It's just how it is. Let's go back to the bigger version. Oop. So there's food area. Then we got the animal area. So you can kind of see how I laid it out. So I'm going to take some photos of this one to remember it. And then we'll go on to our next theme park. Or the next zoo that I made.